Alrighty folks, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well and uh, welcome to what should be the first roll of our E46 uh, track car project. So let's go have a look at the car and I'll show you what I've gotten done and uh, then we'll go and see if we can take her for a spin. So, in the kind of, I don't know, um, battery bay, You'll note here that we have wired up all of our high voltage connections. So we have battery negative to the inverter, battery positive to the inverter here. We have our pre-charging contactor and fuse box here, all set up and wired up. I've just very roughly installed my prototype uh, battery monitor circuit board here so we can run some tests on that. And um, so we've got some uh, tails going on to the um, the batteries here and pretty much that's all kind of wrapped up in there um, inside the car so what we have is i've installed another panel here um, with a analog voltmeter ammeter and I've put our little LCD display here for the um, battery monitor. So, oh, other than that, everything's pretty much as is. Um, I still haven't got this kind of dash clock thing properly installed yet, but that'll be happening. Um, so, let's go and see if we can make this car drive. Um, and if we can, woohoo! So, okay, let's do it. Thanks. Okay, guys, Voyage of the Super Turkey is upon us. Um, we are rigged up. Uh, got some new stuff here. Got our new uh, instrument panel. Um, got some software problems with the battery monitor, but that's okay. We can fix it. It seems to be still working. <laughs> got some analog gauges here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Okay, there goes the pre-charge. To 380 volts. Unfortunately, my yeah, I think it's however I'm handling the can packets. Anyway, let's enough talk. Let's voyage. For some reason the contactor is struggling to pull in. But then it does. Okay, and of course my controls are bass backwards here, so drive is reverse and reverse is drive. Uh, we've got some mirrors. Uh, let's get some power steering. Um, I'm seriously scared here. So I'm going to reverse, so I'll go into drive. No handbrake to speak of. Here we go. So we're driving. Well, we just reversed over there. Well, hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're rolling. Time's working. This thing's working, guys. Damn, that's a bit of noise. At least the brakes still work. Let's go forwards. There we are. I'm just having to scrape it off. Okay, so it turns out uh, part of the exhaust was um, hanging, hanging in there. This contactor is crazy, I gotta fix this. Anti theft device, maybe. Contactor's closed, uh, brakes are released. Uh, let's see if we can reverse without making a big racket. One amp. Uh, 
down, this thing's moving. Ooh, it's regening. Oh, it is regening. Okay. So let's go forward. Ooh. Go, super turkey. Ooh. Ah! Damn, that regen is pretty serious. Okay then, take two, we just put some oil in the gearbox. Let's go for it. I'm gonna have to cable tie that instrument cluster in here. Main on, dash is on. Um, inverter, pre-charging. Stupid vibrating contactor. Hmm, that's something we've got to fix. Close now. Power steering. Uh, let's go backwards a little bit, shall we? See the road here through the car. Pretty crazy. Uh, let's go forward. <sighs> it's actually very smooth.
hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's a first roll. Uh, nothing too exciting to see, but um, we'll be uh, working on the inverter now uh, soon. Um, tuning it, uh, getting uh, some problems ironed out. As you could see there, it was quite jerky, uh, so we need to get that fixed. And we also need to fix one of the current sensors as it doesn't seem to be reading. So that's about it for today. Um, not much else, but it's a pretty big milestone in this particular build. So hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like so you see some more um, um, updates. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Uh, we have some more exciting projects going on. And... Um, yeah, I've got uh, some batteries on the way, I have a completely new drivetrain, all kinds of fun packed stuff for you folks. So, uh, thanks a lot for all the su support and we'll see you next time.